Okay, here we go. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Saturday Morning Coding with your cartoons. Because why should you just watch cartoons when you can code with them? I am going to take you over for a little journey, and we are going to try to code something today in Scratch. In order to do that, let's see. Let's snap my fingers. Oh, I don't have any fingers to snap. So maybe I will blink my eyes. And there I am. I am here in the Scratch program where I can play with you today. This is scratch.mit.edu. Do you see how in the Scratch website, we have these three options, try it out, see examples, and join Scratch. If you want to be able to save what you're doing, you'll need to click join Scratch and you will make an account and then you will be able to have your projects there to share with other people and come back to at other times. See examples lets you see things that other people have done or other exemplars that you can follow to do what you would like to do. And then we have try it out. That lets you go in without creating uh, an account of your very own and actually try making a project on the Scratch website. I do have an account, so I'm going to go ahead and sign in and we will get started. Now this is where you'll see updates from Scratchers that you follow. But apparently, I don't have any Scratchers that I follow. Um, so if you're a Scratcher and you'd like me to follow you, put your Scratch username in the comments below and I will be sure to do that. So I am going, oh, there's a little blog here and some feature projects from other people. <clears throat> but I'm going to come up to create and we're going to start something new. Yay! So you'll see when you start out that you have a little untitled project. You have your stage, which is this backdrop, and it is kind of the universe that your sprite acts in. And this is your sprite. And your sprite is your character that is on the stage. If we go first to our stage, we can change what it looks like by going to backdrops and you have all of these different things that you can play with to make your backdrop the way you want it. And so I'm going to just make a nice, happy, I love background. Oh yeah, that looks fantastic, doesn't it? And then I'm going to draw, I'm going to draw in reverse with an eraser. And I'm going to just do a nice big heart right there in the center of the backdrop and then I'll take my filler and fill in the center of the heart with pink <clears throat> isn't that beautiful I love it it's a Kiki versus IT original it's fantastic we will never have another one like it there are other buttons up here in case you want to import something from your computer or add from the scratch library or if you want to clear your <gasps> Oh no, oh no, what did I do? I lost my artwork. Oh, I guess we'll just go back in to add. I had a frog in my throat. I don't know where it's coming from. I try and keep the windows closed. All right, so we have these bedrooms. Oh, look at those bedrooms. The bedrooms are so nice. I wish I had a cartoon bedroom like that. Okay, so now that we have the bedroom, we can make sure that we add it to the scene there. And now we can move our cap around a little bit in it. And then we can change our cap in the same way. So we can either create a new sprite, uh, we can add one from the library, or we can import from our computer. But I actually want to add on to this one. And I'm going to make his tail purple. 
Whoa. Oh, look at how it shows you what's going to happen when you click. <gasps> Adobe, take notes. So I'm going to click purple, give the kitty a purple tail. Let's switch to his other costume and give it a purple tail too. So that it is the same. Now notice that the cat has two costumes here and they're made to make it kind of look like the cat is walking. So when you go back and forth between them, it looks like the cat is walking. But we're gonna start with this one. And now we're gonna make the cat do something and we do that using scripts. Um, let's see, the first thing we can make the kitty do is just make the kitty move. And if you want to just click on the block, you can make the kitty move just by dragging the block into the workspace, clicking on it. And you're seeing it's moving just 10 little bitty steps at a time. Not steps like we would take a step where you actually see how the legs move and all of that. But 10 steps is just, a, it's a distance of measurement and it's not very far. Uh, bringing you back here and you can see if we do 100 steps, the kitty moves much further, much faster. So we'll bring the kitty back. And we actually want the kitty to end up about where her 200 steps was. So we are going to, um, let's see, move. Let's move, we want to move kind of slowly so that it still looks like steps but we don't want to uh, only go 20 steps. So we are going to put this in a repeat loop. And the repeat loop is under control. <laughs> that's about the only thing here that's under control today. So we wanna put that in there. But if we wanted to go about 200 steps and we wanted to do it in steps of 20 at a time, we're gonna repeat 10 times. So that works just about perfectly. Hi! Hi! I have people watching me. Hi! These are my kids. They're watching me. Okay, so now we want to figure out, we don't want to just have to click on this in order to get it moving. We actually want it to be part of the game. And in this game, you click on the green flag to get things started. We got to move the kitty back by hand. And in order to get it so that when the green flag is clicked, this stuff happens, we need an event. Boop, boop. See, when green flag clicked, then this stuff happens. So let's go back over here, green flag, yay, it works. And the kitty just kind of rocks right on over. Boop, 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 boop. Move back to the kitty. And now I think to make this just a little bit more fun, I am going to move up to the kitty too. Boop, 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 Climb up these blocks. Boop, 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 boop. And I'll just hang out right here for a little while. So, all right, let's go ahead here. Kitty, 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 kitty. Oh, what do you think? Is that fun? I think that's fun. Okay, all right. So, let's move the kitty back. Boom, 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 boom. And now what do we want to have happen? Let's see. Let's add footsteps like the kitty's walking. So we're going to switch back and forth between costume one and costume two. So we want to have that happen here. What's going to happen, do you suppose, if we switch costume outside of the loop? Well, you're going to come in and you're going to take one step, two step, three step, well, 20, 40, 60, 80, etc., all the way up to 100. And then you're gonna to switch to costume two, which is not going to give you the look that you want. Instead, you wanna be switching back and forth between costume one and two every time the kitty steps. So we're going to switch to costume two, and then we will switch to costume one. Now let's run it and see what happens. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, well, we didn't see anything right? It just kind of scooted right along, kitty scooter, and that is not right. So what's happening here is it's switching so fast from costume one back to costume two, it's not ever actually, you're not ever actually seeing that switch happen. So we need to add 
some time between costumes so that you actually get to see it. And I'm going to do that with, I think it's control. Yep, there it is. Wait one second. But one second is a long time. So I'll, I'll just show you here. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Boom, 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 boom. boom. <laughs> that kitty does not look very happy to see me. Do you see me? <laughs> No. <laughs> All right, that took a long time. One second is probably too much, but point one second feels about right. Oop, we don't want to repeat point one times. I don't even know what that would look like. I'm gonna move the kitty back because it is cruising along and it's just gonna be off of the screen pretty soon. All right, so we'll move the kitty back. And now we'll say, here, kitty, 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 kitty. And oh, there it comes. Oh, yeah, good kitty. Good kitty. All right. Now let's make something else happen. Let's have the kitty say something when it gets to me. Uh, oh, you know what? The first thing we can do is have the kitty meow. So there's a meow here. And we can come in and we can... Blop, 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 blop. Go to sound and we can play the sound meow right there. So we'll move the kitty back and we will play. Ah! Excellent. So now the kitty meows when it gets to us, and maybe we want the kitty to say something. We want the kitty to say, hi, Kiki. And we'll come over to blocks and there's a, a say hello. There's no say, hi, Kiki. But that's okay. We will make it say it. So we will bring this over here. Oh, we gotta move the kitty back. Boop, 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 boop. And we have to change this to, hi, Kiki, exclamation point. And now, when we click on the green flag, here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Ah, excellent. That was so much fun. Okay, I'm just gonna hop back down here and come back out to my green pasture. You guys, that was a really good time. I had so much fun with you today. Thank you for joining me on Saturday morning coding with cartoons. Uh, I, let's see, I am going to take this project that we created together and I am going to put it in the comments, no, in the uh, description box below so that you guys can build off of it or see what we did together. And if you want to take the remixes that you make and put those in comments, I would love to see them. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more, Saturday morning coding with cartoons, <laughs> then please click that like button and make sure that you subscribe and click the little bell so that you get notified every time that there's another one available. Thanks, have a great weekend, and until the next time, happy coding!